Hey there, baseball fans. Nathan Rohde here for Prep Baseball Report. The NHSI returned after a two-year absence and gave us one of the best matchups of the year on day one. In the nightcap, two aces faced off in Buford's Dylan Lesko and Don Bosco's Caden Dana. A stellar start by Lesko was spoiled when Don Bosco rallied to tie the game on a Kevin Jackson single in the sixth, and then Anthony Zollo walked off the Ironman with a double in the seventh. Not that there was much date before, but Lesko settled it. He's the best pitcher in the country. He cruised through the first two innings, sitting 94 to 97, and put hitters away with an elite changeup, the best one I've ever seen out of an amateur. And he finished with four innings and seven Ks on just 51 pitches. In the second, he busted out a vastly improved curveball at 76 with 2,900 RPM. Threw it again in the fourth on back-to-back -back pitches for a strikeout. Dana wasn't at his best, showing some scattered control and allowing loud contact, but he was still 92 to 95 and mixed in his typical hammer at 78 to 80. He also mixed in a mid-80s changeup and slider. Don Bosco will now face St. John's Country Day of Florida, who advanced past Servite behind a strong start from Bradley Hodges. The day had strong bookends as it started with Orange Lutheran versus Hanover. Hanover rolled out Levi Huseman, who was 90 to 94, to go with a sharp slider and solid changeup. But the Lancers touched him up early and advanced with a 6 to 3 win to go on and face Nevada's Basic Academy. Mikey Romero drove in two with two sack flies, and Oliver Santos struck out nine over four and two thirds innings. So that's a wrap on day one. There's some weather on the way, so day two will likely be delayed some. But be sure to check out prepbaseballreport.com for all the coverage, and we'll see you guys at the ballpark.